mother's heart is broken after her 14-year-old daughter was shot and killed this weekend. Nataria Douglas's mother says her daughter was killed along with another 17-year-old boy after a shooting off East Range Road and Kirby Parkway. Detectives released these surveillance images of a black Dodge Charger. And these people <clears throat> you're taking a look at now, they believe to be a man and a woman who may be involved. WREG always smiling after they kill somebody always laughing and having fun. it's it's like it's one it's nothing makes some people happier than someone else being in misery yeah i heard this uh this one rapper he said some sick stuff he said like to make my mom smile i'll make your mom cry like in reference to like killing or something like yeah. that yeah, it brings them joy. It's 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 really, really, really like nothing you can do about that because a program or you know funding or some shit like that can't fix that. That's inside of you. Yeah. That's rooted in you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's something that like it's just it's just. It's just every time we see it, like even with the, with the kids in Atlanta that killed the two little son teens, I think we did that like a couple weeks ago, maybe. And they were just laughing and just having a good time. They were even starting shit on the train on the way home. Other yeah, people, but, yeah, but you know that's like psychopathic tendencies. Yeah, that's bred. Yeah, that's like psychopathic tendencies that's bred like through your environment and shit like that, like. And all yeah. that, like, if you put those people around different environments and shit like that, those tendencies would be suppressed. Nah, I think they they, they carry it with them. <laughs> yeah, because like, because like because even like when I, even myself, because I remember we talked a, a long time ago. I brought up you know how I brought up how I used to be, and I think Ox said you know you kept the you put a lid on it. I said yeah, and basically what it is I put I learned how to put a lid on it to not be that kind of person, and but I know but I know it's there. No, yeah, yeah, bro. I'm the I'm yeah, bro. I'm the same way. Like I had the whole mentality, bro. I was like a super son, man. I had the like I didn't even. I had the mentality if you not if if you not somebody I fuck with, I didn't look at people like like doing acts of violence and doing all that shit. If you wasn't somebody I knew, I didn't give a fuck about you. You know what I'm saying? I had no empathy. Yeah, you know, but like you like you see. <laughs> Y'all accepted a software yeah, update yeah. that that gets <laughs> that that patches the bug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. the same way, you know. Um, you just gotta re rewire your brain. Yeah, you. It's and I know people. I know people make fun of like black people being overly religious, but I'm telling y'all, like Jesus really helped me because Damn. if we want the fear of God, I probably I probably be in jail or I probably listen to Doctor Umar. <laughs> Yo, same, no, same here, bro. Sugar, yeah, real shit. No, I agree with same here. I definitely agree with you, man. But yeah, man, bro, I was so far gone. I was like sixteen. I was already preparing myself to go to jail and all that shit. I was well, like, yo, and that's yeah. why when they're targeting you to 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 get you into whatever, they go after the churches. Yeah, churches screw. They've definitely screwed up nowadays. Yeah. Not all, but you know, I've got too, but far too many of them. They've always many. been screwed up to a little bit, but this, this, this let me, let me put, let me move on. For shooting gotcha. off East Range Road and Kirby Parkway, detectives released these surveillance images of a black Dodge Charger, and these people you're taking a look at now, they believe to be a man and a woman who may be involved. WREG Shea Arthur spoke with Nataria's mother, who said, while she's devastated. She actually forgives the accused shooter. Yeah. This is what I was telling you about. Hold on, hold on. Before y'all say anything, if we bringing up Jesus in the Bible, it legit say if you want to be forgiven for your sins, you got to forgive others for what they do to you. So this is very biblically yeah. correct of these people. Yeah, absolutely. I 100% agree. The problem is that they'll forgive them and then they don't want them to serve any jail time afterwards. Exactly. That's the issue. Yeah. Now, the problem with me is that the person hasn't asked 
for forgiveness. That's, that's, not, how, that's think, not how it works in Christianity. No, I yeah. get it. I get that's not how it works in Christianity, but I bet you she don't follow every Christian thing. I bet you, I bet you the mom probably cuss. I bet you the mom probably cheat. I bet you the mom, um, you know what I'm saying, lust, glutton, all those things. So, like, it's not like these moms be fucking perfect by everything. It's just weird that this is the one thing they want to be virtuous about. Because it's the baby. hardest gotta... thing to do. This the one... It's easy for somebody to, like, stop doing something. But once someone kill your loved one, mm -hmm. if you that will, that will totally keep you from going to heaven. Yeah, but, yeah, forgiveness is, like, one of the biggest things that people overlook. Like, that's, like, that's how you... That's forgiving others for what they said. And that's testing you. her faith and she ain't got no yeah. choice but to forgive. Yeah, because forgive. in her belief if not, and I believe if you don't, you will go to hell. Yeah, yeah, that's like the biggest thing. That's actually, in my opinion, that's actually how you repent for your own sins by forgiving others for what they There's did. There's a difference is. between yeah. forgiving the person and wanting held accountable. Yeah. And you they can forgive them yeah, that's and what I'm not, hold, not hold malice in your heart for them, but yeah. you want them to serve we want them to have justice served upon them. Exactly. Exactly. That's why I was saying the problem is that they take they like, I don't understand. Like they, they taking the fact that people forgive them and using it in court and don't wanna give these people justice. That's what's bothering me. It's like, no, still give these people justice. Them forgiving them, that's because of their religious belief. Everybody yeah. isn't a Christian. You need to get this person off the streets before so he kill sugar. a Muslim. Brown sugar, you're <laughs> no, right. what I'm saying is if you don't take the belief a Christianity belief and use it in court to try to get this person less time, he yeah. he is dangerous. He can go out and kill a Muslim, an atheist, or anybody. Mm. He needs to be held accountable for what he did. Let me tell you this though, Hold on, let me, let me just say this. Yeah. Your branch your you, you, God forbid, you know, let's just say you're the you're the, you were this victim, right? If you were looking down, like let's just pretend after life you can look down and see what's happening, you know, for a few minutes before you go to heaven and shit, right? Or yeah. a few days before your funeral. You can look down on everybody to your funeral, leave your funeral, and then you go to heaven, right? Your husband, he says he's on the news talking about he forgive the dude that fucking did whatever to you. What are you thinking? What are you thinking looking down? Uh, with my religious belief, I would have an understanding no, of why. Are you oh. not I mean, so I, mean I don't know you, because I can't no, operate. Ah, I, I can't operate from their mindset. I can't with my religious you belief with Christianity. I would understand why he did it. That's okay. what I'm saying. Okay. You and I can't. I can't accept. Okay. I know from the yeah, it looks odd, but. Within my religious belief, I get why he forgave them. But in my carnal mind, I'm like, why is he forgiving them? They freaking murdered me. Right. Yeah. So one, one, yeah. Thing, one thing that these people who, con who, who go on TV and say, and they want leniency towards the people who cause them pain, they what they forget is putting, putting someone to death for murder is the oldest law of the land. Yeah, that, that's Gen Genesis nine six. Basically, says if a person that ki a person that murders someone else must be put down by by another person. So, so to say that you forgive the person, that's fine. You know, forgive them if you all oh, you want, but they but you but they cannot they but you cannot allow them to avoid the justice that, that a justice that needs to come to them. Yeah, what, what happened? What happens to them after they die? That's between them and God. But as far but as far as them murdering somebody, they have to be put. They have to be killed for that. Yeah. Well, I don't know because the Bible also said that shit not kill. So. No, but that's, that's not that's, that's not murder. Yeah, that's, that's not judgment. Murder. That's judgment. Let me move along, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, yeah, that's a, that's a whole nother. Tells me story. she's at a loss after losing her daughter, fourteen-year-old Materia Douglas. If I could see the person who killed my baby, I would give him a hug. But Donald Trump is a racist, and he and he and the January six people. <laughs> Need to be under the jail and yep. all this. Yeah, that's what yeah. we're talking about. Yeah, it's just that's the hypocrisy. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Speak. Like, I get what you're saying. Like, she that's because they're racist too. You know, the lady but, who took her seat in the church pew, she hopes she fucking die and shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I get what y'all saying, but I don't know. She she the coping. Dude who parked in front of her house 
She hope he get in an accident the next time he pull off. And another thing, <laughs> another thing I noticed too, like growing up, my mom she wouldn't let me hang out with girls that dressed a certain way. Uh, she had a nose ring, and she's fourteen. Uh -huh. And I noticed then that they make they let me know that her mama let her do whatever she want to do. Yeah, even even though it was like a couple years, like what's that like a three year age gap, a fourteen year and seventeen year old. When I was seventeen, I always like thought it was weird, like they even dated like a fourteen year old. My mom is still dead in me, like the whole statutory rape thing and all that shit. Mm -hmm. So it was like I think that's kind of wild that she was letting her hang out with a boy. That was her brother. That was her brother. Yeah. Oh, right. I still wouldn't let my daughter go anywhere with my out of control teenager. Yeah, at all at, at night, midnight, no. Yo, she was out fourteen year old out at midnight. I mean, I, I could have played. Going, yeah, they was probably going to the store or something, maybe. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's just, no. It's, go ahead, and play the video. Y'all gonna see. Through tears, Irene Douglas tells me while the person who pulled the trigger was wrong, she understands the hurt cycling through society. Oh, oh I'm in my arms. Because at some point in time, it didn't feel love. <sighs> Irene says her daughter had been riding with her brother overnight Friday as he made DoorDash deliveries. He was doing deliveries to help with bills around the house. Nateria was asleep in the back seat when she was shot. And then Jesus here's Dana Christ. Brother. Oh my God. This is horrible, man. Jesus. Damn. Damn. That's why I said she, she just saying this on the news. I guarantee you it's going to take years for this lady to truly forgive this man. She just talking outside of her neck. Yeah. Decades. Fuck that. This, this right here is like, I mean, you let your daughter, she's 14, she goes, she's riding her. She's right. I mean, I, I can understand it, man. Te you're teaching her how to work. It's, it's Christmas break. She, she gets to ride with her brother and, and see how he do his job. She's sleeping in the back seat. And while she's sleeping, she get her brains blown out. It, it, I mean, that's it's just, that is fucked up, man. Blackistan is listen, man. Black people are devils, okay? We're devilish. Yes. Yeah, and I agree. One hundred percent. And the way it expresses itself, our devilishness expresses itself in things like this. This is an expression of that. This is us announcing to the world that you don't have to guess you don't have to you know um one and, and and the reason i'm calling us devils is because we're doing this in the greatest safest most well-run country with the most checks and balances against this stuff so this is not being done in haiti or jamaica yeah. this is being done in a place where Yo, they got a no, they got program for the program for the program for the program. Yeah, but what I could say though, I, like with this, like as far as like this psychopathic mindset that we have, like I really think it's done like over years of indoctrination. You know what I'm saying? Like through like the media, like it's just so much going on because I know for myself, like. I didn't have it like that mindset when I was a kid. I was taught that like by my older brothers, cousins, and people in the neighborhoods. So it was like I I don't know, man. Like we definitely like evil, evil minded. But I think it's like due to like just indoctrination. Indoctrination of what? These people just it's nah. not it's no indoctrination with he seen her brother, it was beef, and he shot at him. He didn't care who he had in that back seat. Yeah, so that's that's going into the that's this going into evil. It, it is evil, but that goes that like bro, like the whole if it ain't me and my family mindset, fuck them. I learned that in middle school, cause my homie, I used to fight everybody who talked about my dad. Never seen my dad a day in my life. He died before I was born or whatever. So I used to fight everybody who said something about him. Why did they homie talk about your dad? If they why they knew your dad died? 
Yeah, they knew you know they knew he's dead. So people were saying fuck so they, this and the people was dissing the dead whole way before this drill buttons. stuff. You know what I'm saying? They was pressing my buttons. They knew that's how they could get me in trouble in school by getting me to fight and stuff. So my homie pulled me to the side. He's like, bro, but did let's you just ever meet stop you? right there? Let's just stop right there. That's fucked up, man. <laughs> that's normal. No, I, yeah. I get it, and and, and, and I'm, I'm getting the shit. Listen, the the shit I went through as a fucking kid, fucking bad too. But I'm saying, like, like let's just let's not gloss over that. These are little kids making fun of the fact that your dad died. Yeah, kids can be evil. You know, that's yeah, what they're yeah, yeah, very. No, I evil. get little kids can be evil. Little kids can fucking, you know, um, when you sit down at the lunch table, everybody gets up and moves to another table. And give you a wedgie or a wet willy or something like that. <laughs> yeah, but this is, the, the, yo, the black and stand shit. And trust me, I went through it, man. I got so, horror stories too, man. I mean, it's so just listen, it's different. It's different. This the flip. I'm like, in, I'm like in like the fifth grade. It was like, yeah, fifth, sixth grade or something like that. Then the switch flipped when my homie pulled me to the side. He's like, yo, bro, your dad died before you was born, right? I was like, yeah. He's like, so why do you care? I was like, what? He's like, yo, my grandma see people down in the news every day. I'm like, that's a shame. I asked her the same thing. Like, why do you care? If it ain't nobody you know, why do you care? So when he said that to me in the sixth grade, I carried that mindset up until like early 20s and stuff. Like, wow, I didn't care if I didn't know you. So it was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That shit is a learned behavior. It's wow. fucked up. It's fucked up, man. It's yeah, I get up. it. But that doesn't mean that, that it was just a learned behavior in your case. I think a lot of some people are devils. I was a, see being a son kid. Is it helps you too? It's like it's like that's why I say trans is bullshit because unless you was a little girl who had a crush on a boy in the first grade, had her period, had to go to the office, you you can't just pop up at twenty four or thirty and be like I identify as a woman. You had to go through all that shit that women went through. And I get your first friend, pimp smack. Yeah, exactly. And, and, as a, <laughs> and as a son man, you know what I'm saying? I I I was a son man little kid. I remember all the disappointments when you realize, yo, this these people suck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo, no bullshit. Like, it sucks, man. Yeah. But I understand sucks balls, but you, but then you, but then you try to, but then you, then you just, you know, what I'm saying you just live with it, and then you, and then you, then you, then you just, you just make the best out of it. You know what I'm saying? You find your way or whatever, blah blah blah. But that first thing when you realize, yo, this shit. Because remember, we used to watch shows. See, back in the '80s when I grew up, I don't know about y'all. The sitcoms was everything. We didn't have reality tv all we had was sitcoms and the people's life on the sitcom was so wholesome they would always solve their problems they would work together you know what i'm saying the people were nice you know even when something bad happened the bad guy was you know got told about himself and got sent away even on good times when the gang tried to recruit jj they just, you know the key, james came and scared the gang and, and 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 like it's just like when you were living in Blackistan, it ain't nothing like that. It ain't happy. It ain't, don't that it don't be no happy endings in Blackistan. Yeah, the fuck good man. guy, the good guy don't never win. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, hey, hey, growing grow up, growing up in that same environment, even though even though that was the case, I would say that those stories they helped to show that there was an alternative. There was a way. It, it mean, like you're, it may suck where you're at, but it doesn't have. But it doesn't mean that it's it's like that everywhere. And you had you know you had an opportunity to leave. If you ever have, if you have an opportunity to leave, you do it as soon as possible so that yeah. you can potentially have the same have those same outcomes that you saw. Than what you saw in movies or you read in books and stuff like that. That's why. That's why when I had the first the first opportunity I had to get out of the hood, I took it, and no, I'll never look back. That's I, the only way the good person will win is if they get out of the hood. You have yeah, to get away. Never come wish, back. You, yeah, and ne and never back. look back. Wish me luck, guys. I bought my uh, I bought my childhood home. So yeah, wish me luck. Where's that? At? Smack dab in North Philly, baby. Oh, wow. But it's but it's like it's like in an area where it's kind of getting gentrified. So like, 
wish me luck. I'm trying to hold out. Hey man, good luck, hold man. Out. Yeah, wow, man. Yeah, this is this is this Blackistan is just a horrible, dreadful fucking place, man. Um, and it's in the and and if it, the Congo should be bad, fucking Haiti should be bad. Considering right. what they do, Blackistan should not be this bad. It being in America, it's there's no way it should be like this. But bro, it's like like the problems, like it's like it's like it's like a an affection, like a like a, a, a illness, like a, a fever that spread around. Like something happened bad in one home. They send that kid out. He infect another kid. That kid infect another kid. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. I do know that. Like, yeah, little, um, like Slick Rick said, um, um, what's the children's story? Everybody need to go listen to a children's story. Slick Rick song from um, yeah, from I heard plenty of times. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And one kid like he had a disease. Rub another, rub another, and have a sister yeah. and a brother. Yeah. About a little kid who, um, and 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 it just shows you how Blackistan, um, yeah, we we do corrupt each other, but I, I still think that black people are innately evil, and um, like I I, I think no, I, I no, I mean I do, I I really do, I think we are, I'm evil, but 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 you know what you know what you saying that though, and like, and like I work with this brother, like you know who like a Hebrew is or like. Mm-hmm. And I tell them like they like yo we the original Jews and I'm like yo you know the Jews did kill Jesus too right so it was like yeah. you got us they were they were they were bad yeah so they was like, were bad I don't, I don't think I don't think he understands when he says no we he's celebrating that fact. I wouldn't want to celebrate that fact I'm not dude. yeah I don't they were screwed people. up yeah, they were yeah. messed up people people and the shit they do to little kids I think we gotta go to um. We gotta we we gotta, gotta go, go to Rumble that. to talk to them, yeah. what they do that, like on the regular. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just they have their customs and their they, ugh, they, they nasty man. Yeah. Um, but yeah. but um but yeah, yeah um yeah no no doubt. I mean, I I just don't. I, I would rather go to Rumble. I, I just got back on here, man. I ain't gonna you know. What I'm saying? Yeah, right. <laughs> but, 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 but 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 just but saying that you're at least you're ahead of the curve because at least you you you're recognizing the problem is there, and that there's something. I, I think when you recognize the problem is there, you can at least on an individual level do something about it. Right. Yeah. As far as as far as reaching other people, that's tough because they because they're gonna they either gonna deny it. Or not understand what you're talking about, or flout, you know, flout call you crazy or stuff, stuff like that, and so and and and, and, it, and it affects other people to who maybe maybe who may want to know why is this stuff happening to us? Why is this stuff always happening in our neighborhoods? No, mm-hmm. but you, but you, what? I, it was a couple lives ago where I was saying like we intuitively know, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't want to address it like up front but like this 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 is like a quiet secret that black people know that like yo, we fucked up niggas yeah. know that niggas, niggas know niggas know it and 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 like i tell you our slang and our music is where we're the most honest because it's something that we're not um it's not crafted and um we're not you know what i'm saying like when you talk to our activists and our leaders and shit that's one thing but when we're just making music and you know, creating you know dialogue, our own unique language and whatnot, the slang and whatnot. We're just being totally honest in those uh, moments. Yeah, yeah. And, and was- we and we contradict ourselves too. Like I remember the time where a black woman was like, uh, they get mad if a rapper wouldn't put would put a lot of light skinned women and foreign women mm-hmm. in their videos. But now, um, when I start adding black women in the videos it was you're degrading black women you over sexualize us <laughs> and, and or they'll say you're not there's no black women in the videos but you didn't want black women in the videos yeah and uh, black women should be happy that they're not in these videos man because these 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 rappers they're demons and they call themselves demons and um just that like that like the fact that they call themselves demons 
I mean, yeah. the fact that they, before that it was savages. Before that it was ghosts, gremlins and no. gremlins and goblins, and before that it was thugs, goons. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, the thing. No, go to a there. goblin. Savage was the craziest one because it was like, yo, that's literally what the colonizers used to call 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 us and stuff like that. So it was like, damn, y'all turning that into a term in the Imagine man? how savage we were. Think about if you are different from a different group and you and you um, came upon us in Africa in our normal state. Like this is us. Like all of us know how to read and shit. I think about if you read a, a bunch of blood that never, none of them never read a single letter. None of them never do one plus. They ain't got no word for one or two plus two. They just got a word for like the and it and some. They don't have no words for inches and millimeters and um, yards and feet. They just got inches for, you know, that way and this way. Not even left, right. That way, this way. Their languages had, like, fucking 250 words in it and shit. Like, most of the words are borrowed from, from, from other languages and shit. They, if you rolled up on those people and they was, you know what I'm saying, and they was out there doing their shit, I mean, you would, I'm sure those people were like, yo, what the fuck? Why was it so easy for 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 the white man to communicate with them? Because they didn't have to learn many words. Yeah. Damn. And, yeah. I wonder. I wonder why. I wonder how the fuck they do that. We don't do nothing that we don't have to do. So the, if, why would we create a big extravagant fucking land? We don't have to. It's not necessary. We do. Black people do the bare minimum. Go to a black restaurant. You gonna get the bare minimum service. You know what I'm saying? You will get the bare, what the least they can give you without, you know what I'm saying? They might not even put no napkins in your fucking bag. You know what I'm saying? You will well, get the bare minimum. And the, and then, the only way to correct that is, is a lot of times to use force. That's the sad part. Well, and, the, and then w when, they, when they're talking, just even, even here, they shorten every word they do. They they mess it. That that they leave out contractions. They leave out other things and just talk like that. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. Like people really need to look into this, and because uh, looking into it is the only way you can probably find possible solutions. Even though I know you say there's no solutions, but yeah, this is stuff that really needs to be studied. And I think it will be like I don't think like, it needs to be. I think I think people are studying it, and people don't uh, don't want to um, accept the answers. They, there's been plenty of studies on this stuff. Let me move along. Right, there. it was in the area of East Rains Road and Kirby Parkway when he spotted an officer, telling him his best friend and sister had been shot. A 17 year old boy was also killed. Be a rob. I feel like somebody. Just his part, his other partner in the car was killed. So his sister got killed and his partner got killed, just riding along with him doing the deliveries. Uh, so, so the brother, so the Ryan brother survived. Young. Yeah. My, my life. She was my life. My children are my life. Mama. Now Irene holds on to the videos and pictures she has of her daughter of happier times, describing the Raleigh Egypt High freshman as fun saying the two were inseparable. Straight A student, very smart. Very smart. He was actually running for vice president of a, of a school. And while her pain is palpable, that gave me chills, this isn't man. the only loss this mother has endured. Last year, she lost someone she considered like a son to gun violence, along with... Best friend got killed two months ago to gun violence. 23 years ago. Oh my God! And this is the story we see. I, how many times do we see this story? Whenever we do these stories, Bash Ring got killed. This one got killed. That one got killed. This is this is the life they live. And imagine, and this is in the greatest country in the world. Imagine talking to a woman in fucking um goddamn Zambia or fucking you know that Togo or Sierra Leone or some shit. Imagine her story. 
This is a woman in the greatest country to ever exist. This is her story. The fresh year. Yeah, man, my daughter. Asking the community to find a way to heal. I just want the hate to stop. It's senseless. It's senseless. J. Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3. Our hearts go out to all of those families tonight. And these people are devils, man. They're literally demons. They just go around killing people. And listen, man, I, I, I'm not trying to act like maybe there, there could be, there could be a situation where a left turn here, right turn here, I end up being one of those people. I ended up being one of those people. You know what I'm saying? Because I got the hate inside of me to do it. I mean, I yeah. hate niggas, man. I ain't even gonna lie. When I like when I say I hate niggas, I'm not talking about like I hate like every black person, but I I I like a nigga disrespect or shit like that. That shit I get yeah. I, I, I be wanting to kill a nigga, you know, over stupid shit. And yeah. and and I can understand, like that's why I understand. Like I know the Sun Man, um, I know the Sun Man thinking like he he thinking like he won't he the death is like the killing you is like really like a a, a a reasonable option to us man murdering you is a very reasonable option in the heat of the moment man and um it's something that we will fucking um dude let me just end with this one man <laughs> 